All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 999. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 9 to the power of x on my left-hand side. So I get 9 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 999. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so I get 9 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 9, 999. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So these two cancel out, and I get 9 to the power of x is equal to 999 divided by 3, which is 333. Alright, so from here, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 333. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So log 9 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 9, which is equal to log... 333. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 9 because we obviously want to isolate x. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 333 over log 9. Now, I can rewrite log of 333 as log of 3 times 111. And I can rewrite log of 9 as log of 3 squared. Now we know that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front. Another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So I get x is equal to log 3 plus log 111 over 2 times log 3. And this is equal to log of 3 over 2 times log 3 plus log of 111 over 2 times log 3. So now these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 1 half plus log of 111 over 2 times 3 log 3. So now log of 111 is equal to 2.045. So I get x is equal to 1 half plus 2.045 over 2 times log 3. And log 3 now. is equal to 0 0.301. So I get x is equal to 1 half plus 2.045 over 2 times 0 0.301, which is 0 0.602. So now log of 111, which is 2.05, divided by 0 0.602 is equal to 3.397, which is the same thing as 3.40. So if I add 1 half to this, I get 3.90 as my solution 